Hey everyone. Everyone knows that track saws are cool. Probably everyone wants one. Everyone's had that, that expensive sheet of ply or sheet goods that they've clamped the straight edge to, run the circ saw down, gone off track and totally screwed it up. Well, I've been using a product for about a year now, which has really made a massive improvement on that. Roughly half the cost of a plunge saw. I just went online before I looked at the Makita SP, SP6000J. In New Zealand it goes from 800 to 950 bucks. Who's going to pay that for a uh, you know, weekend warrior type guy like myself who wants to cut a few sheets of ply now and again? So I thought I would introduce uh, what I've been using and... Um... Man, it's brilliant for, for what I do. This is a Makita XSH-03Z also known as a DHS 680 in New Zealand. It's a six and a half inch saw. Um, the thing to note about this particular model is that it has two rip fence attachment points, which can be used to attach a guide rail adapter. To attach it to the rail, you slide the adapter arms into the rip fence mounts. You slide the arms in until reaching the positive stops And for 90 degree cuts, you line up the zero mark on the arm with the indicator on the adapter body. This ensures that the blade will be positioned on the track for a perfect zero clearance cut with no tear out. The adapter can be mounted to both sides of the saw, but I've found that mounting it to the left, as in this example, places too much unsupported weight to the right of the track and pulls the blade off square very easily. Doesn't look too bad, eh? 